Now, picking up right back where we left well, where we left off, we're actually seeing a massive, massive lobby with a bunch of players in it, and this is what the live world will look like when you are playing online. We also see this gorgeous Rocket Bunny FDRX7. We see a wide body Porsche with classic Porsche 911. Actually, we see um, an Aventador over there. We see a Vulcan. We see so many cool cars, and honestly, like just the lineup of cars. Like seeing them here, we've got a Rocket Bunny 350Z as well. Seeing that Rocket Bunny 350Z was like, oh. Hello, I'm all about that, but like I said, we're going to be seeing a little bit of like drifting around in here and like drifting around some of these country roads, and yes, these are a very open road type, type thing, they're not necessarily super tight, but... But you'll see a little bit later on that the tight roads do make a comeback. So you have a nice mixture of the open, free-flowing country roads as well as the tight technical stuff. And you can see also they have all of the anti-griefing stuff. If these people are not in your convoy or they're not your friends, they will just ghost right through you or you will ghost right through them. No need to worry about people smashing into you, ruining your day, ruining your line, ruining your drift or your photo or whatever it is that you're trying to get because those people, that, that kind of sucks right that kind of sucks to set up something like a drift run or like maybe a train of like you have drift cars you're drifting with friends and then somebody just comes and like just boom smashes into them and like destroys your fun right well that's not going to happen anymore in horizon 4 because in this live world people will auto ghost and i know a lot of you guys already know that people will auto ghost but it's really good i think to touch on it again and let you guys know that like hey this is really you know this is how this works this is really happening also multiplayer, well, not necessarily multiplayer, but just really Horizon, um, like, live, also features things like photo mode and rewind. Everything that you would expect to be able to do in single player, you can do here in this live world. And I know that for a lot of people, that's like, oh, really? I mean, and I know, like, for me, since I've talked about it a lot, I feel like it's something that, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, people just know this. And not, not everybody knows this stuff. So, going around some of these tighter roads, we've got a awesome, awesome downhill or uphill, if you choose to go the other way, winding, winding mountain road or toge road, drift road, whatever you want to use it for. I mean, this, this goes goes back to the days of Fujimi Kaido, and it reminds me of Fujimi Kaido, and I am just, somebody just careened down the side of the hill, but this takes me back to the days of Fujimi Kaido, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's, honestly, that's one of the best things ever, and right now we see them going back into Horizon Solo, which is something that you can do if you want, um, and the world will repopulate with Drivatars, they will respawn into your game, and you can play outside of the live world whenever you want, but, like I said, I want to go back and restate again that that road and multiple other roads in the game actually really do remind me of Fujimi Kaido back in Forza 4, and honestly, I couldn't be any happier to have roads like that returning to the game because honestly, I've missed them in a Horizon game, I have needed them in a Horizon game, and there's so many other people that have needed roads like that, and they have, they have, they have delivered, dude. They have absolutely 100% delivered, and to be honest, dude, like... I know so many people were freaking out about how they're like, oh, I don't like the fact that it's in Britain. Oh, I don't like the fact that it's in Britain. I don't care that it's in Britain because it's like, there are so many people that are like, oh, they didn't give us Japan. Oh, I'm not going to get the game. To be fair, dude, like, this map is so good. This map is so cool. Why would you not get the game just because it's not, like, set in Japan or wherever it was that you wanted it to be set? I mean, honestly... I feel like you'd be missing out on so much that you'd be really, like, just wasting an opportunity to play an incredible game. Now, here we see an awesome lineup of cars. We see an, uh, an F40 GT, or an F40 LM, maybe. We see, obviously, the Rocket Buddy FD, the Rocket Buddy 350Z. We see all these other supercars, like an Aventador and a Huracan. We also see that off-road truck. And you also see that here in multiplayer, photo mode works just fine. And it's really not even multiplayer anymore. It's just that live world. And... Honestly, like, being able to take pictures with your friends whenever you want, I mean, that's what the game is about right there. I mean, the game is about a, a lot of different things, but that's one of the biggest things that, to me, that, that the game is about. I mean, you can see all the controls that you're, you, that you're used to, like, you know, your focus mode, your effects mode, resetting cosmetic damage, hiding the UI, uh, so you can get those nice cinematic shots if that's what you're into. And, like, just seeing a lineup like this, it's like, oh yeah. This is going to be fun. I mean, it's going to be such a fun game. It's going to be packed with stuff. Absolutely packed, packed, packed with things that I, I, I wish that we could basically, like, have right now. But I understand why we can't have these things right now. Because, again, the game is releasing in September. And you guys, I, I <laughs> you guys will be the first on the list to see as much content on Horizon 3 as basically... 
as basically as humanly possible. Like, you guys will be seeing. If there's something you guys want to see, I will bring it to you. If there's something you guys think you might want to see, let me know and I will bring it to you. I mean, I was going crazy over on my Instagram showing you guys the, the highlights from the stream and then here now showing you guys all the gameplay that I can. And honestly, dude... Like, I cannot wait. I can't stress, the no stress this enough, but I cannot wait to have this game in my hands. This is going to be the absolute best Forza Horizon to date. I mean, the absolute could be the absolute best Forza, depending on what your opinions are on Motorsport versus Horizon. But to be fair, I don't think we should ever compare Motorsport versus Horizon, but I think really we should just embrace both and basically approach the series as Motorsport is for tracks, Horizon is for open world. Don't compare the two, because if you compare the two, you've gone wrong. But at the end of the day, this game is going to be absolutely wonderful, and I cannot wait. I just... And also, they, they did talk a lot about in this stream about trees, but really, actually, I think it's, it's actually kind of cool that they talked about trees so much, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, look at this, like cardboard looking tree and like other Forza games. They don't look like that anymore. They don't look like that whatsoever. Trees look very much alive. They look very much revamped, very much redone. And you can see the clouds rolling across the sky, like just gorgeous, gorgeous fashion. You can see the grass blowing around. You can see the trees just, it's such a beautiful game. I mean, they really have upped everything. And this is actually an interesting menu called uh, My Horizon Life, where they show you basically everything, like your levels for photography, your levels for danger signs, your levels for speed traps, your levels for exploring, your levels for like skills, rivals, car collection, like speed zones, blueprints, every freaking thing is tracked and ranked. So if you are the type of person that likes to keep track of your stats, this game has you freaking covered, dude. And I, I, I tell you what, that drift club is, is going to be, I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try to max that out as quickly as humanly possible when I get the game. Because, man, I, oh my god, this is going to be a drifter's paradise. I'm telling you what, like, I'm telling you that right now. And I, I, I do not think that I am going to be wrong in saying that this game is going to be an absolute drifter's paradise. Because it absolutely is going to be. Now, the Forzathon live event that they're about to do is basically what it is, is it's an event that allows you to compete in a Forzathon. Well, not necessarily compete, but like, actually, I take, I take back the word compete because they actually stressed this a lot in the live stream that this was not about competing with each other. This is literally, they don't even compare scores of like who contributed the most or this and that and the other thing. It's just everybody contributing to one big goal. And then once you get to that one big goal, you move on to the next stage. So there's three stages, each getting progressively more difficult. Now, with that being said, I think that it's a really cool system because instead of people thinking oh well I carried your team or like oh I want to boot you because you didn't do much everybody is contributing to a goal at just like equally you know what I'm saying like so basically people that are new to the game or maybe new to Forza uh, in general can jump in and like even if they only contribute say if it's like a total speed that everybody's trying to contribute to even if they only contribute a little bit they still contributed to that goal, and of course, it'll help them get better at the game. And I think that that's great. I think it's wonderful because their whole goal is to try to try to make it more inviting to people. And by making it more inviting to people, you make people want to come back and play the game again, especially those new players. And new players are the whole backbone of why people play this series. I mean, like you've you've got your hardcore people like me, and you know a lot of you guys that come back every single year. But I think for new people that have never played a Forza game before or a Forza Horizon game before, they really want it to be inviting, and it's definitely a big turnoff for them if they jump into a game that's um, that's online and, you know, they immediately get kicked and booted, you know, because people say, oh, well, you're not good enough at the game. I don't want you on my, you know, my thing. So it's one of those things where, it, like, people get to feel like they're, like, they're helping get closer to an objective and to a goal. By the way, these Forzathon live events happen every hour on the hour in every single season. So you'll never be at a, uh, you'll never be at a, at a loss for these events. So definitely going to be something to, definitely going to be something to touch on uh, once the game comes out. Because I'm very curious to see, uh, like, basically how long you can go with, while keeping these different, you know what I mean? Because that will definitely, that will definitely help, um, 
And that'll definitely, like, kind of help us see, like, how long can they keep these different for. Because depending on how long they can keep these different for, we might have a lot of original things here. So, with that being said, we're going to actually show you the rest of the Forzathon Live in the next video. Where we're also going to be talking about some other things as well. But, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to slam that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.